Hello everyone, welcome to the automotives and in this animated video we will discuss about working of vehicle headlights. Every day we see many types and designs of headlights in number of vehicles in which each of vehicle have its own design and bulb type. So today we will find out the types of headlamps and headlights in this particular video. In this video we will take a look on the difference between headlights and headlamps, types of headlamps used in vehicle, construction and working of each of them construction of headlights and at last working of headlights usually in cars you find assembly of components mounted in front of car bonnet inside glass casing is known as headlight but the bulb used in headlight assembly is known as headlamp types of headlight depends on type of bulb or headlamp if we talk about types of headlamps, it starts with tungsten halogen lamp. The next one is high intensity discharge bulb or projector bulb. Third one is LED, it means light emitting diode type. And the last one is laser type. Tungsten halogen bulb is very popular and widely used in vehicles. Where HID lamps are quite costly, so it's equipped in some high-end cars only and in some customs too. LED lamps are quite efficient and new technology, so it's still in the adoption phase of the automobile. Laser is the latest one and still it's in prototype phase, but it's provided in the BMW i8 concept last year. Halogen tungsten bulb contains a tungsten filament sealed inside a glass bulb, which contains the halogen gas, so it's called tungsten halogen bulb. Whenever it's subjected to electric current, tungsten filaments emits light according to its physical property and halogen helps it to maximize the light production while protecting it from the high temperature burn. Some cars uses the two filament bulb which contains two filament inside single glass bulb. High intensity discharge lamp is also known as projector lamps. It contains a quartz arc tube which is subjected to a glass bulb with help of supports. Arc tube contains mercury vapor and halide atoms, while the bulb is filled with mixture of gases like argon and sodium with inside coating of fluorescent material. Arc tube is connected with the tungsten electrodes which ends in the connector of bulb which is used to supply the electricity. When lamp is subjected to electric current, current flows through the arc tube via electrodes which excites the halide atoms inside arc tube and due to presence of mercury vapor it emits the ultraviolet rays and coating of fluorescent material converts it to a visible bright light by reducing its frequency and intensity. LED headlamps are made of many small LEDs, fabricated in specific order to achieve maximum light possible. Light emitting diode is made of diffused P-type semiconductor and epitaxial N-type semiconductor sandwich, which interconnected with very thin gold or silver film. When electricity is provided, the positive atoms of N-type material travels to the P-type and this process emits the light due to photon particle exchange. This process uses very less amount of electricity, so it is very efficient way of producing light. Laser type bulb works on very different phenomena. Laser bulb includes the standard laser projector which works on the principle of electromagnetic radiation. In this method, laser is projected on lens coated with yellow phosphorus. When blue laser impact on the yellow lens, it refracts the bright light which can be used in night application of automobile because it has very bright ray with concentrated photon flow. Main part of headlight is headlamp which emits the light. The main function of headlight assembly is to reflect the light produced by bulb in right direction to maximize its effectiveness. Headlight assembly consists of headlamp and reflector. To adjust the upper and lower beam, sometimes two bulb or two filament bulb is used. As you can see, both bulb are placed opposite 
to set the focus on road as required. If upper bulb is active, it reflects the light in the downward direction, which gave lower beam. But lower bulb reflects the light in straight direction, which gives upper beam. So as per the requirement and mode set by driver, both result can be achieved. That's all for today. If you have learned something from this video and you want to watch more videos like this, please like this video, make sure to press the subscribe button below and hit that bell icon so you get notification on every new upload from the automotives.